First memory of Fort William. My first memory of Fort William is taking the train up there with my mum to watch the World Cup. The train line was going through this, you know, this gnarly scenery. We got closer and closer and it was just, I was just thinking, you know, where are we? Like, where are we going? <laughs> Driving north from the central belt of Scotland, you go through some really beautiful country and it just starts getting more and more remote, more and more rugged, more and more isolated and it's part of the joy of the Highlands. There's always a dead strange feeling driving to Fort William because it feels like you're driving out of all civilization, you know? It feels like you're driving away from anything, anybody. You're driving and driving through these crazy mountains that, you know, that don't even look like they are in the UK. It feels like you're gonna be set for a weekend, like, on your own, you know, in the middle of nowhere but really you end up in this kind of awesome race venue. I think Fort William as a, as a race venue has brought UK mountain biking a long, long way. Me, G and Rach have, have definitely kind of honed our skills there and if I could name like one World Cup track that, that I thought was, was a man's track, it's Fort William. When I think of Fort William, I think of the pinnacle of our sport of mountain biking. Past results at Fort William is definitely not my favourite subject. I, I've been second there, I can't even remember how many times, you know. I don't know how she's not managed it yet. She should have done, she's been close a few times. Maybe this is the year. Uh, she's on fire at the moment. Yeah, I, I wish this was Fort William now. Done and, done and won, but it is. Coming into Fort William off the back of Val de Sol was pretty awesome, to be fair, because I've won Val de Sol and, and I felt confident and, and relaxed, and that's a very important thing when, you, when you're just about to race at Fort William. But in Fort William, you've got the course, which is different to everything else because it's man-made, it's sitting on top of this big soft peat bog, so it changes constantly. The weather can be pretty savage up there, there's no tree cover, but all the people that go along with it, the marshals are in the same positions they have been. Some of those guys have been on the same marshal position every year since the start, so this will be 11 years they've been in the same place. The course takes a, it takes a really good ride and a really smart ride to win as well. You've got to be balanced up there, you've got to be coordinated. You've got to be able to handle it physically and mentally, the weather changes, the, the brutality of the whole place. So I think it's, it's just big in every sense. Everything, all together, the, you know, the, the finish area, the whole thing, the crowd, there ain't no other race like it. Qualifying's weird because it's it's the first time that you're gonna throw down a fast full run. It's the first time that you're gonna, you know, experience some proper race nerves. The first few turns at Fort William for me anyway are always a bit, you know, <laughs> I don't know, they're always a bit off and you're always a bit on edge because it's a bit of a surprise, you know, how, how loud and how how much people are cheering. And they say in your name as well, it's not just like they're cheering. set off and it's just, it's gnarly. The, the noise, you know, that you hear it all the way down the top section takes you a little while to get used to it and then you get in your zone and you're just focusing on, on the job at hand, like very, very much in the moment. And that just seems to allow everything to settle down and, and this racer to, to come out in me. I don't know how it's got there, but it's there and, and that's what I rely on. Qualifying at Fort William was, was good for me. The, the track was rad, it was dry and I won, felt confident, and it definitely gave me a boost, which is what you need on that track, for sure. Yeah, I did all right in qualifying. Took the, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that boys think I did all right, anyway. Took the win. Yeah, I took the win in qualifying, pretty stoked. Braga got a puncher, but nine seconds up on the pom pom, so. Just gotta do it again tomorrow, that's the main thing, isn't it? 
I guess for us, Fort William is is a unique, you know, event because it's almost like a family reunion. You know, it, there's, there's Christmas and then there's Fort William, and, and that's the time that we see our family. And I don't know how it's happened, but you know, every year, auntie and uncle come up, and, and cousins, and there's all these people there, and it's. It's cool, you know, that they're there and, and supporting. You know, we had Mark Bowman on the team and, you know, that brought in his family and, and then, you know, all the GT guys were there. And it did feel, you know, like a, a new start, you know, tackling Fort William with a fresh perspective. And, you know, it's that's good for you. And, and I, you know, I had, well, I had no doubt that this was, you know, this was it, you know, because it was fresh and it was new and I felt good and, and there was no reason for it not to be it. What are you having for breakfast? Mm -hmm. Porridge, stewed apple, and like bran muesli. But you'll notice we've got a band of pretty heavy showers developing later this afternoon from Argyll through Stirlingshire, Lanarkshire, and down into the borders. Not much in the way of wind today, so those showers will be slow moving and the potential for some pretty heavy downpours. One minute you can be on a dry track, you know, loving it, having fun, you know all your lines and, and you know your speed, you're up to speed. And then the next day it's raining and completely my fault. I had a massive crash and, and I, I beat myself up pretty bad, you know. I struggled to just get down to the bottom. This was maybe an hour before my race run. So you stop warming up and you, you get ready and, and you're very, very nervous, like deep down. Feel all right? Yeah. Good. On the surface I, I try and be very like just chilled out. Cheers, Brownie. Cheers, Wayne. See ya. Nice and calm at the top. Yeah. Yep. I don't know, just the intensity of the crowd in that, in that amphitheatre that is the finish here, it's just so natural. The whole crowd is there in anticipation and the focus is all on the arch and the noise when they're in the lead is just phenomenal and if it's a Brit, it's even greater. The thing that I always think about, you know, as you jump over the, the finish jump or like as you come into view of the finish arena, you know, you jump over and, and I'm always thinking, am I doing enough? Like, have I done enough? <laughs> I just cannot bear it if I haven't, like, there's nothing I can do now and it's nearly finished. There's nothing you can do, you just you cross the line. Well, I can remember crossing the finish line and here in second. I just couldn't believe it. I can... Again, like I knew that I'd thrown it away. Like I, I knew I could have won, and it was so close. And then I nice didn't. One. I'm lucky, yeah. You're right. Fucking well, gave it your all, man. I literally couldn't like, I couldn't stop myself from being upset. <laughs> like it wasn't because it's not because like I'm a bad loser. And, like I was stoked for Rago because you know she obviously rode it flat out, but I was so like, I was so sad, man. And you can't like, you can't hide it sometimes. Screw it away, like. No, you gave it your best. Can I get a picture? You may. Thanks. <laughs> Come on in. I think one of the reasons why Fort William is such a big race, you know, it's hands down the biggest race on the circuit, on the calendar, and, you know, the main reason for that is, is the people and the fans. You know, I didn't win. I was second. And they're still, like, they've still got their banners and their flags and they're cheering, and, and it's cool, like, it... It definitely makes it easier. Definitely. I think Fort William as an event has gathered so much momentum over the years and become this figurehead event in mountain biking purely because of the fans. That is what Fort William is about, you know, the fans. She did her best, sir. It was a good try, good effort. You can see she put 100% in life. She gave 100%. Yeah. Well done, Rachel. We've just been cheering like crazy for hours now, innit? Yeah, we love it. Best weekend ever. Everyone should come, Fort William.